this is a disappointing video and a disappointing purchase even before I get to opening it. We'll see what happens coming up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining me for another video. First, I would like to say I have made a different kind of purchase uh, that just came in. I have from Immaculate Comics, uh, the Tic Tac board, I think that's what it's called, and a chamfer board. So this will be used obviously by me <laughs> as I'm going along with uh, my pressing endeavors, trying to get the best results right from the beginning rather than you know trying things out on my own. I have two of the better tools that I've seen on the market or just what people have been using. So thank you to Immaculate Comics. Um, I thought I had the sticker here, but I don't. I would have shown it, but yeah, uh, ImmaculateComics.com and you know, go check them out. They have a lot of stuff, a lot of tools that you aren't going to find necessarily you know, on Amazon or anywhere else. So give them a shout. Um, now let's talk about this. I, what is the timeline on this? Because this is really frustrating to me. Um, as a retailer and as a large retailer, I would hope that you have a lot more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I don't want to say common sense, but you place more value on customer service. Now, why do I say that? Well, this came today. Today is Friday, September 8th. So whenever you're watching this video, this is from Friday, September 8th. I purchased this on September 2nd. So six days from the time I purchased it to the time I received it. That's not what the issue is. The issue is today, I got this, uh, this was delivered to me at, let's say 11.30 or so, 12.30, somewhere around there. At 10 o'clock, I don't have the email up. Around 10, 10.30, I get an email saying, you've got a refund from Nucadia. I'm like, okay, why am I getting a refund from Nucadia? Five minutes later, I get an email from them directly saying, oh, we're sorry, two of the books that you ordered were not in stock due to an uh, inventory error. We refunded the purchase price. That's great, but they're supposed to have a double check when they go through the process. Like when they send you, and I'll show you in a, oh, let me get open this first, and then we'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, because it's a lot easier to show than to tell. So let's get this going. And there are quite a few books in here. Um, this was a decently sized order. Of course, it's a little smaller now because two of the books were not in stock. Um, okay, so basically what happens is, and this is how it's gone in the past. Why am I having so much trouble with this box? Um, usually you get a letter and you know here's oh well that's lovely also um we'll get to that in a second as well um and i showed this before little sticker now if we can get that it says hey we refunded you these things here's a you know the books that were checked were not available that's great and normally they send you an email and here is the receipt and you could see uh in this box it says i packed your order so they have somebody that packs your order and verifies it um normally what happens is if there's a an issue where let's say the image of the book is not the book that was actually sent or available they'll send you an email and say we need you to you know to respond immediately before we can send this out blah blah blah. or they could say oh you know we don't have this we're going to try to find a replace you know a um a duplicate copy to send you or we're going to refund you but you know this should have been done on what did i say september 2nd not the morning of september 8th when the package was supposed to be delivered so that's a little bit frustrating um so there's that rant now let's go to the second part which i noticed now with nucadia they give you free books 
uh, if you make orders of a certain size. And I selected the max number one as my free book because I, I haven't gotten free books in ever. Um, you know, I've, I've ordered like 200, uh, 120 orders so far. I think I maybe asked or took like um, one or two freebies. Uh, I never really do it because it's mostly stuff that's uh, free comic book day stuff or children's stuff. But you just literally saw me pull this out of the bag, uh, out of the box. No bag, no board. Um, so that's really not very uh, encouraging. So there's that, you know, but again, it's free. So whatever. Um, so now let's get into the actual books. Um, so what did not come was Blade Vampire Hunter number one newsstand edition from the second series. So the first one was 1994. I think this was 1998. Um, 1999. Uh, so that's disappointing. And the other one that did not come was Green Lantern number 48 from the 1990 series, which was also disappointing because I was really looking forward to both of those books. Um, that said, let's take a look at what did come. So first up is uh, On the Wolverine number five. And I have a few of these that came. I ordered a few of these. So let me go find the other ones real quick. Um, yeah, these are all out of order. Okay, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Okay. So, let's do it like this. Uh, seven, six, five, three. Um, okay, so, we'll do it like this. All New Wolverine, number three. Two copies of All New Wolverine, number five. All New Wolverine, number six. And All New Wolverine number seven. And the significance is not really anything there. Um, I think number three is the second appearance of Gabby. Um, number five has no key significance. And um, this looks like, uh, okay, this freaked me the hell out. <laughs> if we can get, you see here and you see up here. That looks like it's part of the book. I'm going to double check that real quick right now. It looks like it's part of the printing. Um, not a gigantic fold on both sides. I was like, oh, wait a second. Um, so fingers crossed. I, cause I don't really know this book very much. Okay, yes, that is part of the book. So that's that's a relief. <laughs> that's a huge relief um, that it's you know part of the printing of the cover, the imagery, not the book itself. Um, so to go over number three, I paid 321. Number five, I paid 302 and 307. Number six, I paid 321. And number seven, I paid 321. So roughly about $3 each for each book. Um, and they're all near mint minus. And so, yeah, so hopefully that, yeah, I'm still, I'm still a little bit, um, still laughing at that a little bit <laughs> because I was like, oh, fuck me. Uh, okay, so we've got that. And those I'm not going to really go, you know, open the books and all that crap because they're really low dollar books and there's no really key significance. Um, they were just really good, um, really good deals on those books. Next one is Youngblood number two, the green versus, not the pink, but the green version of this. This is a near mint copy, according to them. And I paid $3.29 for this. And this is just going to... You know, more spec in case um, the profit movie ever goes forward. Right now, they're still in development or something like that. I don't know. But um, these are some very nice white pages on this book. I That's very good. Sharp corners. No, I mean, you might be able to see. There's... Let me see if I could get the light to bounce off of this. There's a little bit of waviness, but nothing nothing terribly wrong. Um, it still has the card intact, which is something you need to be careful of um, with this. And I know um, Wildcats number one 
from the original series also has the trading cards built into it, stapled into it. So you got to be careful with those. But yeah, for $3.29, I'm very happy with this one. Very, very happy. So that kind of makes up a little bit for the missing books. Uh, next up is Wolverine Origins number 11. I got two copies of that. And one is near mint minus, one's near mint. One I paid $2.50, one I paid $3.75. And um, this, this is a key. This is a key. <laughs> Ask me what it is, and I don't remember. Um, doo -doo -doo, key collector. That's what we're looking for. I think it's... I know it has to do with Dakin, obviously. Um, I think it's maybe his first full appearance? Or... Let's see. Wolverine. I have to learn to spell. Wolverine. And we go to Wolverine Origins. Number 11. Uh, first appearance of Dakin not in disguise. So this is his first appearance of the person, not disguised as anybody else. So basically, if this was like, um, you know, Wolverine, it would be first appearance of Logan not in his suit or not disguised as Patch or something like that. So, and this is the near mint version or near mint copy. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> you can see right here. Here is a tick, and right here is a tick. So maybe this was supposed to be the near mint minus version copy grade. I don't know. Maybe they mixed them up. Who the hell knows? Well, and this one is upside down. They got the label on the bottom. Or is this? No, they got the tape on the bottom. Uh, I really don't care where the tape is, to be honest. Um, all I care about is the condition of the book. And, nope, this is also a nice, big, nice, big, uh, spine tick right there. So, yeah. Um, near mint minus, I go with that one. Oh, I just noticed on the other one. Let's see if you can see it. It will be hard. I think it's always easier if I do this upside down. Now, where did I see it? There's a bend somewhere at the top over there. It might be hard to see. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, a thumb bend or it's right on the O. I can see it clearly when it's laying on the laying flat, but okay. Um, we'll save this one. Well, actually, that was kind of part of a set. Well, let's stick with Wolverine. Wolverine number 80 uh, from the 1988 series New Stand Edition. Uh, and this book is from the 90s, I believe. So this is where the new stands become a lot more scarce relative to direct editions. Um, and this is supposed to be a near mint minus. And I know I saw a spine tick already. And that one is right here next to my finger. You can see that very clearly. Um, but otherwise, sharp corners, white pages. Um, spine is nice. Cover is nice. So... Your near mint minus. Okay, one spine tick. Um, next up is Green Lantern number 20 from the 2011 series. This is first cam, first full appearance of Jessica Cruz. No, this is the one where her first hand, I think. This is the first cameo with the hand, maybe. Uh, yes. First cameo of Jessica Cruz, her hand appears in one panel. So we've got that. Um, this is a direct copy. Oh, by the way, the Wolverine Origins. Oh, yeah, I went to that. 245 and uh, 250 and 375. Okay, so we did that one already. Um, yeah, this, again, this would have been paired nicely with the Green Lantern number 49 from the 1990 series. Um, 
Not because it has any significant ties to each other, just because they're both Green Lantern books. Um, so, you know, this is also a, this is a near mint. I uh, got nice sharp corners. Obviously, there's no white pages because the page is not white. They're all actually black in here. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with this. This cost $8, $9, cents. so round up to $9. I'm ha more than happy with that one. Uh, next up is Dark Reign Young Avengers number one. Um, oh, this is scaring the hell out of me. Dark Reign and Young Avengers. Now, if we look at the top, you will see it says Near Mint. Corners. Tiny blunting. All right, well, you can see here that. You can see here that. So let's see what happens when we take the book out. Um, there's actually two labels on here. Kind of curious what was supposed, what was on the other side. It's going to be very difficult to tell um, if it was rebagged. And yeah, just like I thought. This is. You can see there. You can see the crunch, right there. And you can also see it on the back very clearly. And it goes through all, most of the pages. Doesn't look like it breaks any color on the interior. It does look like it breaks color. I can't really tell, um, but okay. So, so near mint, not even close, not even close. Um, and you know, this literally had to have happened previous to shipping because none of these other books have anything to anything like this. So this book cost I paid five dollars? No. Uh crap, I just tabbed up. I paid four dollars for this one. So relative to the price, um I'm you know, it's a $4 book relative to what it costs with that conditioning. Yes, but selling it as a near mint, fuck no. And these, these are the reasons why you see when I, you know, place orders from this company, I just like, you know, there's always something. <laughs> you know, the, the grading, they, they let things go like this, um, you know. There's all, it almost always something going on. Um, it's just, it's frustrating, you know? It's very frustrating. All right, now, why can't I get this one? This next one is what I paid $5 for. This is Hawkeye number one from the 2016 series. Now, this one says near mint and aside from looks like a little bit of color rub there maybe and a little bit right down here other than that nothing i'm very happy with this one at least this one is in good condition uh and then last but not least ghost rider from 1990 number two direct edition um, this also has a double label. I don't, you can see in the overhead, you can see that double right there. Um, yeah, you can see right there that there's a label on top of a label. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make headway of what's underneath it. Uh, just because it's just too thick. The paper's too thick to look at. And this is supposed to be a very fine plus. Um, right off the bat, we have a corner crunch. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's the angle. Uh, I just had it. 
you can probably see it there, corner crunch. A um, couple of deep spine ticks. There's one. And I don't remember where the other one was. Uh, but otherwise, the opposite corners of the spine are sharp. It's got white pages. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of white to show, but yeah, you can see some, you know, from what little white there is, there's some very nice white pages on that one. And that cost 475. So, you know, and you might be able to see it better here. You can see in this corner, there's a little bit of damage there and just a little bit of fraying. So yeah, you know, it's like you get one positive, you go two negatives. You got one positive, you get two negatives. Um, would I have liked to have the two books that didn't come in? Yeah, because the Blade uh, Vampire Hunter, the newsstand from 1999, I only was paying eight, uh, 480. And the Green Lantern number 49, I would have only paid 430, 4, 450. So they were really good prices. Um, but unfortunately, I was not told that they were not in stock until the day that they were delivered. Uh, so let me know, honestly, I want to know what your experiences are. Um, have you ever had issues like this where you get notified? Six days after you place the order, you know, and you're like, oh, out of the blue, I got money back. Like, why am I getting money back? Oh, I got another email. The books weren't in stock. Why the hell didn't you tell me this when I placed the order instead of the day that I was getting it when I'm planning to do the video and all this other stuff? You know, it's just frustrating. So let me know if you've ever dealt with that. Let me know what you think I should be feeling and just, again, thank you for watching. Thanks for coming with me on this journey and I'll see you in the next video.